That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five.
switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Carr. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments. 
adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively.
Campbell. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. The timing is so important on a route like this because he's done a lot of out right then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. They go play action with Ryan. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines. But incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down, even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me too. For, for you, I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> certainly did its part and got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now Zap right back in the other direction. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket, only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way.
tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. One second, all that remains. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. position to win. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. He finds his man complete. That's Jenkins. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Here's Carr. Same target. It's Jenkins again. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Meanwhile, Carr's throw going to be taken in by Cole. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts' 45-yard line. 12 yards there as they move to James. Well, that certainly has 
to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down is Carr. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. Well, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception.